This is the world's most accurate Lego baby. The sequel. At a whopping 209 grams, this Lego World Spriggan is more than three times the weight of the original thing. Once again, huge credit to Jared Chu, the original creator of these designs. None of this would have been possible without him. Links are in the description. And without further ado, let's get building. So now that we're done building the bay, let's go over each individual part and how to assemble it. The driver is Unite Dash, which features a small plastic axle surrounded by a larger rubber outside. Next, the chassis is 2B, which features two free spin parts to the layer and the driver to mimic the free spin gimmick. You can also lock the free spin by moving this brick to the center to prevent this from moving, which is pretty nice. After that is the Ring World, which has a couple of gimmicks. First of all is the Noteworthy Flip gimmick, in which World has two different spin directions by simply flipping the layer. There are also these wings that can move in and out that mimic the burst stoppers of the real World Spriggan. But of course, unlike the real one, they don't really do any burst stopping in LEGO, but it's still cool. Lastly, we have the Chip Spriggan, which aside from looking cool, is basically just a normal sparking chip. Here's an example of changing all the modes. Boom, locked and left spin. As they're both part of the LEGO sparking system, all of the parts on LEGO Brave Valkyrie and LEGO World Spriggan are cross compatible. Here's World Valkyrie Unite Dash 2A, and here's Brave Spriggan Evolution Dash 2B. Now it's time to do some test battles in the stadium, and boy is it humongous. Three, two, one, ready? Rip. You know, for a bay of this size, that wasn't a bad launch. All right, versus Spriggan Requiem. Three, two, one, let it rip. Wow. King Helios, three, two, one, let it rip. Oh my goodness, there's not even a chance. Oh wait, maybe there is a chance. Switching mine up to left spin. Wow. 
So that was my giant world Spriggan. And of course, while it doesn't really work too well in battles, it is definitely super cool to stare at. If you guys want to see another one of these giant Lego bays, cause who doesn't? Make sure to hit that like button down below and spread the support because seriously, these bays cost a ton to make. Oh yeah, and if you haven't already, make sure to check out Jiraju. His works are pretty amazing and I'll see you guys next time. Lego bays out.